Hello, thank you for taking time out. This video is on the nakshatra of Chitra and as per mythology, Chitra is ruled by Lord Vasta. It also falls in the sign of Virgo in Libra. I'm going to be sharing firstly the mythology linked to Lord Vasta and later we'll be going through how different planets behave in Chitra. Lord Vasta is known to be the celestial architect. He is also known as Vishwakarma, the maker of all things. He is behind the design, the colour, the patterns we see in everything, from something as small as a leaf to complicated machinery. One of the symbols of this nakshatra is a gemstone, a diamond, which symbolises the creative prowess linked to this nakshatra. Designs created by the Chitra native are not only going to be flawless, they are also going to be the best. This symbol symbolises that Lord Vasta is known to use an iron axe to sculpt his creations which symbolizes that creations contained in Chitra are technically very complicated and they require high levels of accuracy and precision. See, in the previous nakshatra, Hasta had mentioned Hasta too is strongly linked to creations. Creations in Hasta too are going to be flawless. In Chitra, however, craftsmanship is taken to the next level. Designs under Chitra are significantly more complicated, such as the design of complicated machinery, weapons for example. There's an interesting story as per mythology that Lord Vasta is behind the most fearsome weapon known as Vajra, which translates to a thunderbolt used by Lord Indra. Lord Indra is known to be the king of the heavens and therefore is also protecting the heavens and he's known to wield that weapon designed by Lord Vasta and this weapon is known to have a thousand edges carefully sculpted. This weapon is a shining example of the complex nature of Lord Vasta's work. Creativity here is not simply about imagining something innovative, it's about building something tangible. I'd like to give you two examples right away. I'm sure you've seen the movie The Imitation Game, where Alan Turing has designed a complicated machinery to decode the messages from the enemy. Alan Turing, in his birth chart, has moon in Chitra. Complicated machinery. That movie explains the complication behind the design. That's what I'm trying to highlight, which is separating the creative power which the Hasta native might have to the creative power we see under Chitra. As I mentioned earlier, under Chitra, craftsmanship is taken to the highest level. Another great example is Nikola Tesla. He is known to have designed something very complicated in electrical engineering. He has Mars in Chitra. So yes, Chitra is a highly creative section of the sky. It's very strongly linked to technical details, engineering, complexity and the like. And it shouldn't be of any surprise to you that Mars, which symbolizes technical prowess, is ruling this section of the sky. And therefore, mechanical engineers, who particularly the ones involved in design, like the design of a complicated machine or a sports car, for example, where you look at the aerodynamics behind your design work and you are trying to make sure every millisecond can be saved through some design feature. Other examples include a blacksmith, carpenters, engravers and itchers. I'm sure at some stage you've got 
your family's name engraved on etched on a wooden plank for your house for example so that job also requires creativity at the same time mechanical skills sculpture makers jewelry makers potters are other great examples in another mythological story Lord Vasta designed the city of Indraprastha for the Pandavas who were ruling the city amongst the Pandavas is Arjun Arjun and Lord Krishna's conversation is what the Bhagavad Gita is all about coming back to design of the city this symbolizes that the Chitra native can also be not only an architect but also a town planner and by extension civil engineer an interior designer a carpenter a construction worker or any other profession linked to construction activities architecture specifically which is so strongly linked to Chitra doesn't necessarily mean architects in the conventional sense through my readings and far far away I have met people who have Chitra's influence in their chart and are software architects so it can happen in different areas Lord Vasta is also known to design the shape of the embryo and therefore the Chitra native can be an embryologist a gynecologist a midwife or a childbirth specialist too in another mythological story Lord Vasta's daughter Saranu was married to the sun god Vivasan she could not however deal with sun's rays and therefore Lord Vasta intervened and fashioned the sun rays to make it more manageable for Saranu and for humans in general this is another interesting story which highlights the influence of Lord Vasta which can translate to the Chitra native having an influence on an authority figure in the society the Chitra native is designing how the flow of command works in an organization for example earlier I'd mentioned Mars is ruling this section of the sky and therefore the Chitra native is likely to have Martian qualities a very exacting nature very detail oriented a perfection seeker very uncompromising too and the technical prowess of the native is going to be unmatched you'd find this counterintuitive that Venus the planet that signifies creativity is debilitated in the Virgo part of Chitra see Venus's creativity is more unhinged the creativity of Venus is powered by imagination therefore Venus is exalted in the nakshatra of Revati whereas under Chitra creations also have to be built so if you see a beautiful painting you can design it as you like you can imagine the painting to be as you like you can't do the same if you're building a house the line art of a house is going to be different from a painting there's a difference there so due to Chitra's association with building as Mars is ruling it Venus finds itself unable to express its creative energy openly that in my view is the reason why it's debilitated now let's look at how this nakshatra is classified it's no surprise that this nakshatra belongs to the caste of a farmer which is the caste belonging to artists this doesn't need any explanation this nakshatra further belongs to the Ghana belonging to a demonic force and furthermore it has the Guna belonging to Tamasic which translates to darkness the two main reasons behind this classification the first one is to do with Lord Vasta's creations he's known to create he's known to design he's known to build weapons 
weapons naturally can be associated to darkness and a demonic temperament. I had earlier given you the example of Alan Turing who built a machinery to decode the message of the enemy or should I say to defeat the enemy. In warfare weapons are used which lead to mass destruction which explains this classification and the second reason is Mars is the ruler of this section of the sky and Mars is known to have this demonic temperament and under certain circumstances this Martian energy can also possess this tamasic guna, darkness, particularly when the person goes to the extreme. So this classification in my view is more a reflection of Lord Vasta's creations like the creation of the atom bomb. Yes, we've made progress as a society and we've discovered something, but what we have discovered can also consume us. That's why this classification is how it is. And on a happy note, this nakshatra has the classification of mridhu, which translates to soft and tender. I think this is more a reflection of Lord Vasta's character. And secondly, this nakshatra falls in the sign of Virgo and Libra. The sign rulers, Mercury and Venus, are known to have a soft energy, which explain this classification. So if you have your rising as Chitra, somewhere this exacting, detail-oriented nature is likely to be part of your character. With Chitra, the native is also likely to be well-dressed, colourfully dressed, that's linked to Chitra. A lot is going to depend on where Mars is placed. It's very, very important you study its position, as Mars's position actually is going to describe your personality. Furthermore, you must also identify the sign. Your rising falls in the Navamsha, and that would be the sign of Leo, Virgo, Libra and Scorpio. If it's the sign of Leo, you'll have a commanding personality. Not only are you going to be very Martian, but also sun-like. Someone who's occupying or building a reputation on account of one's Mars-related skills. If it's the sign of Virgo, I think wanting to seek perfection, wanting to do things the best is going to be a strong aspect to your personality. If it's the sign of Libra, you're also going to be now diplomatic. So this is a better position than the sign of Virgo, as now your personality is going to be more balanced. Yes, you'd be a perfection seeker, but you may not push for perfection as much as you would if it's the sign of Virgo, for example. So in Libra, there's more balance. And if it's the sign of Scorpio, these Martian qualities are going to be part of your character. Apart from being a perfection seeker and creatively inclined, you're also going to be excessively competitive. So studying a planet's position in Chitra may only be one half of the story. The other half would be that you study where Mars is placed, where Mercury is placed, where Venus is placed, as they are the nakshatra and the sign rulers, and also see where the planet is placed in the Navamsha and the Dasamsha. But studying a planet's position in isolation in Chitra is an excellent start, so let's do that. If Moon is in Chitra, you'd naturally be inclined towards creativity. Your ideas, your way of thinking can be perceived as very innovative. Now, Moon doesn't share the best relationship with Mars. And therefore, it might be the case that you might push your creative ideas forward aggressively or you come across as someone wanting to seek perfection and you don't see that in the work or in the designs or in the creations of others and therefore you react to your circumstances, particularly in the sphere of creativity. You may also begin to point out things that are wrong 
whether it's to do with people's work or people's character. That is a side that the native would have to control. Moon is directly linked to careers in healthcare. So in this combination, the person can directly be working as an embryologist, a gynecologist, a childbirth specialist, particularly if Moon has a relationship with one of your career-related houses. And lastly, I think your natural creative inclination would also make you very sensitive to design all around you. You might see something beautiful everywhere. You might say, see the pattern that I have discovered on this wall, which has worn out over many years. I find this very fascinating. I think you'll become very absorbent to design. You'll begin to see patterns and designs everywhere. One of the other downsides to this position can be that you might exhaust yourself thinking like an artist. Particularly in the sign of Virgo, the person can become obsessed with design and perfection. That's my view of Moon in Chitra. When Sun is in Chitra, you're likely to inspire people with your creativity. Sun is known to burn relations and Venus is debilitated in Chitra. So relations, not only in one's personal life, but also at one's workspace, can be difficult. The person can get into an ego issue, or oh, I was expecting the standard of this project to be this, we haven't achieved it, this is an issue. You are going to be a perfection seeker and you're likely to get into ego tussles with people around you. Sun is known for consistency and therefore this combination can lead to the native maintaining high standards in everything one is doing for a very long time. The native is likely to be very dependable. People would trust the native to again reach that high standard every time and it's going to be that consistency behind your work that's likely to lead you to be a leader in your sphere of work. Sun belongs to the caste of a Kshatriya which translates to a warrior and Chitra is also to do with design of weapons as I'd mentioned earlier and therefore together your future can be in the weapons industry other than the obvious industries like architecture, town planning, design of any kind. You may also be representing your government to procure weapons or may directly be involved in design of weapons. Overall, the aspect of Chitra, which has to do with achieving craftsmanship of the highest order, is going to be witnessed when Sun is there. Creations by a Sun Chitra-like person are going to be an inspiration for everyone, that's my view. Mercury in Chitra can translate to a creative storyteller. And I'd like to give you an example. Leonardo DiCaprio has Mercury in Chitra. So here you are using Mercury's ability creatively. You're putting together an argument artistically. This can also lead to a future in law where you draft terms of the contract. You explain things which have been put together carefully, craftfully. And secondly, Mercury is known for its analytical ability. So any design work that requires intelligence, like a certain design feature on a mobile app that you really like, that you just click a button and things happen. It's a simple one-click process. That, in my view, is the creation of a Mercury Chitra-like person. Mercury belongs to the caste of a business person and therefore this combination can lead to you running a business linked to design. It can be a graphic design firm to a digital marketing company or creating a personal brand where you have a blog or a YouTube channel and in some cases uh, even acting like Leonardo DiCaprio. Mercury does very well in this nakshatra. Mercury is excellent at analyzing small details and Mars is known for technical prowess. Together, this combination can lead to an innovator of some kind. One of the downsides I see 
is you being very temperamental. Mercury and Mars do not share a good relationship. So you might react similar to Moon's position in Chitta. You might react impulsively, aggressively, if the expectations that you had from a project that you're working on are unmet. You'll have very high standards, but if those standards are unmet, you're likely to be annoyed easily, and that's something you need to overcome. And the other major downside I see is restlessness. Every creative project requires patience, particularly if the design is highly complicated and the expectation is that you achieve high standard, that patience might be missing. So Mercury Chitra has several qualities but it also has a few downsides, that's my view. Venus Chitra, as I'd mentioned earlier, is a difficult position as Venus firstly is debilitated here. So let's talk about the main aspect linked to Venus which is love. In love affairs you might seek perfection, you might try to build your relationship to a very high standard, particularly in the sign of Virgo, and when those standards are unmet you're likely to feel very annoyed. So Venus, from a love point of view, I believe in the sign of Virgo in this nakshatra isn't very strong, so you need to be more realistic with your expectations. You could do an excellent job connecting people who belong to the artistic world, like connecting upcoming musicians to producers or painters to museums, something on those lines. Your creativity is likely to be very driven by detail, like miniature art, a ship on a very small scale. You can only understand the detail of that design once you use a microscope. Like use of matchstick to build something really massive and then it has resulted in something very beautiful to look at. Such designs in my view are Venus Chitra like. Although Chitra is not directly linked to money, Venus Chitra can lead to a career in financial analytics Data visualization, specifically in the finance sector, can also be your future. And lastly, the person may start to seek pleasure in things which aren't good for the native. So the person may get caught up into something which one seeks pleasure from, but that pleasure is destroying oneself in one way or the other. All pleasures in some way do that. But here the threat of addiction might be higher. Overall, Venus Chitra is a mixed bag. That's my view. Mars in Chitra is going to lead to you being an engineer who also is a designer. Someone who's technically very sound and also an artist. That's how I see it. And your creations are not only going to be flawless, they're also going to be unmatched. Mars Chitra belongs to architects, anyone working in the manufacturing sector, working on designs. Earlier I'd given you the examples of etchers and engravers, fabricators, carpenters, construction workers. All of them belong to Mars Chitra in my view. One of the major downside is that you are going to be excessively competitive, uncompromising in standards, and therefore might be difficult to work with. Others may not have the same level of motivation as you are likely to have. Mars is known for risk-taking and entrepreneurship, so together Mars Chitra-like person can be an inventor, innovator, can even start a business driven by one's skills. The Shakti of Chitra is to gain honour in one's work. That Shakti would be experienced by a Mars Chitra-like native. What you create, you are likely to be known for your creation. Like the Eiffel Tower, it was built by an engineer, he's now known for his creation. So that is an example. Like Alan Turing, he built a machine, he's now known for that. Altogether I find this to be a strong position. The main downside is going to the extreme and being uncompromising. Other than that, it's a strong position. When Jupiter is in Chitra, 
The creativity and designs linked to Chitra are now driven by philosophy. A simple example is an art director. Most importantly, the thermasic energy, the guna of darkness, and the temperament belonging to a demonic force that is controlled. Your creations are going to be an inspiration and unparalleled, but you are also going to be thoughtful. You would try to understand what your creation might do to the society. Like in those sci-fi movies where the scientist has discovered something, the scientist now quickly realizes, no, this is going to have an adverse effect on the society and therefore the scientist hides his or her creation or destroys it. So your philosophical view in life is going to drive your creativity, making this position a very strong position in my view. You can also be a teacher of art or simply be known to explain things very creatively. Life may also present many opportunities for you to explore art belonging to different cultures. Jupiter is known to present growth opportunities and here in Chitra you might become a student of art you might be a frequent visitor to museums, to art galleries, for example. And lastly, gaining honor in one's work is the Shakti belonging to Chitra. And Jupiter is all about getting recognized for one's work. Jupiter Chitra can translate to fame. The only major downside is when Jupiter in Chitra falls in the sign of Libra. So far, Mars and Mercury were having an influence if Chitra was in the sign of Virgo. Now Mars and Venus are having a role. Jupiter and Venus are two opposite sides on a philosophical plane. So there, when Jupiter Chitra is in Libra, the person can be confused whether to continue creating and doing one's duty for the welfare of the society or to be driven by fame. So on a philosophical plane, there might be a struggle that the native might have. Other than that, I'm not seeing any major downsides. Saturn in Chitra is going to lead to you being a master technician. Your creations are not only going to be flawless, they are not only going to be an inspiration, they would also be built masterfully. Creations that are built over a long time are Saturn Chitra linked. Creations that require patience. Creations that test your determination. So any long-term project linked to design and creativity is Saturn Chitra linked. You are likely to be an inspiration to people around you for your perseverance, for your creativity and for your technical prowess. Saturn now finds itself in the Nakshatra ruled by Mars. Saturn and Mars together represent our technical ability. Everything you do, you're going to be very methodical. You'd have a very exacting nature. You'll be a perfection seeker. And more importantly, you'll be willing to wait until perfection is achieved. And perhaps that search for excellence might remain forever. Wanting to continue to improve would be part of your character. Saturn is directly linked to ancient sciences. So when we stumble upon those videos on YouTube of an ancient form of art passed on from one generation to the other. And I see a lot of those videos come from Japan, for example, where shoe building, for example, which has been going on from generations and they build customized handmade shoes. That is a skill. That is creativity. That is very Saturn Chitra-like as you're combining the past, you're combining tradition with creativity. Despite your exacting nature, Saturn in Chitra wouldn't make you as unpopular as Mars in Chitra. I think you'll find a way to find a balance between working with others and seeking perfection at an individual level. Saturn is known to be very service oriented and therefore is going to be more easier to work with than 
a Mars-like energy which is fiercely independent. One of the main downsides would be that you might go to the extreme. This nakshatra has the guna of the Masik and Saturn too is known for inertia. So if you are working in something creative, you have this aspiration, you may find yourself so single-minded that you ignore your responsibilities around you. Taking your work too seriously, going to the extreme, these are one of the few downsides I see linked to this combination. Saturn, I believe, does better in the sign of Libra than in the sign of Virgo. Rahu in Chitra can lead to you having ideas which are unconventional, very futuristic. Your creations can be never seen before, but you may delude yourself into thinking that my creation, my design is going to change the world. Furthermore, you may also delude yourself into thinking your designs, your creations meet high standards. You may fail to critically analyze in an unbiased way your own creations. But once that delusion goes away and you seek proper guidance, your creations can be as you imagine them to be, never seen before. When questioned, a Rahu Chitra like person is likely to express one's demonic side, and in that case, you could fall prey to getting back at people or responding aggressively particularly the ones who are questioning your designs, your creations. So Rahu Chitra like person can be very sensitive to criticism. Acting an impulse would also be seen in your character, something that you've seen recently that has inspired your creative juices. Immediately you'll start acting on that impulse. You'll start imagining something. So perhaps the intricacies that are required in design work you may not go through those intricacies you may bypass a few steps and you may start to imagine an end product which is unfinished or unfunctional these are a few downsides that i see to this position i don't find rahu chitra to be a very strong position particularly due to also the difficult relationship Rahu shares with the Nakshatra ruler Mars. So if you have Rahu in Chitra and about to enter Rahu's chapter, make sure whatever you are going after, you give it time. You're willing to work. Make decisions thoughtfully. That's my advice. Ketu in Chitra is likely to you having a natural interest in design. Ketu is all about skills acquired from past lives that's how i see it and when ketu is in chitra you'll naturally be inclined towards creativity and your creations are going to be flawless and your working style would be working behind the scenes ketu is known for lack of self-identity working behind the scenes or working in isolation working independently is likely to be your working style like Rahu, you are also going to be sensitive to criticism and with Ketu, you'd also like to get backed at people. People who've criticized your creativity, you'd question them. You'll try to prove them wrong. This competitiveness is strongly linked to Ketu. And in your creation process, you can isolate yourself and can even fall prey to addictions, as both Ketu and Chitra have this tamasic energy. Overall, Ketu Chitra isn't a strong position, but is still better than having Rahu in Chitra, as Ketu is having a better relationship with Mars. Think Ketu Chitra like person does better if. The project the person is working on is driven by logic. There's strategic planning underneath or even linked to espionage. You find this interesting. Alan Turing, I've been saying he has moon in Chitra. He also has Ketu in Chitra. And in his case, Mars is in Ashlesha. His creation was linked to espionage. So a Ketu Chitra-like person would need some purpose to remove oneself from the negativity, the darkness that's linked to this nakshatra, that's my view. Thank you for watching this video till the very end. 
If you have any questions, please post your comments. If you'd like to stay in touch, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.